Alright, this game's versus uh, David Dark Eldar. So lots of witches and raiders, incubi, three ra ravagers, so it's gonna be rough. And I've just got my two foot squads, objective, objective, and then I, I kinda split my force, which I'm probably gonna regret, so I'm just gonna try to seize. I actually got it. <laughs> okay, well that's cool. Alright, so uh, pretty much I just moved these around a little bit. Um, he saved two from the first exorcist, both of them, so I couldn't shoot with that. Second one exploded. I got, I got one pen through, I think it was. And uh, um, that boosted over. These all kind of moved up. He boosted Incubi and boosted Witches, so kind of in a rough spot, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, two. Okay, this turn I moved this up, popped smoke, exploded that one. Moved this up, um, shot this, just barely had range of this, and exploded that. Um, I killed three out of that squad, one out of this because they have feel no pain. Uh, they, none of them are pinned or anything. Um, oh, they do have leadership still. Um, this squad shot it there, got one glance. They're good. Uh, one glance and he saved it. And then these uh, charged only three hits out of like 30 attacks because I needed sixes. But I did manage to immobilize it, so the Amki of at least aren't getting out yet. <laughs> okay, the bottom of this turn kind of sucked. <laughs> Wreck the Rhino, Wreck the Rhino, each with one penetrating hit. Um, so they're out, they're out. Um, my exorcists were untouched. Um, which is charged here after I lost so many from shooting. because I had too many left and he did five wounds all at once and I still had 12 guys so I wasn't going to pass my faith. Um, so they used the invulnerable in combat and uh, I didn't lose any. I killed one back. Only one. And then he rolled a nine. So he's, or an eight or whatever. So he's fine. Over here, I incredibly failed. He pulled me off of surrounding the, the Ancubi one. So that's going to suck next turn. Um, but basically what happened here was he did it like eight wounds, nine wounds to me. And I failed five out of the eight uh, regular saves, which really killed me. Um, I had a bunch of power weapon attacks back from my faith and um, killed like two. He killed, he saved three out of five with his four plus in run, so that's kind of sucking. Um, not too horrible right now, but it kind of sucks, so uh, three. All right, only one shot from this. He saved it, moved them, shot this, took off two of its weapons, moved them, and I'm going to that with him. In combat, I failed three out of six saves, did one back and held. In here, I uh, lost one, uh, beat the witches by one, killed two of them, fell back. I was able to keep them just in six and reconsolidate back around. Barely, I had a five inch consolidation, so that's pretty much it. Okay, really quickly, not much happening. Uh, killed a few guys with um, the big guns. Uh, these finished up combat. He got horribly, horrible rolls, and he charged me, and I killed the, the leader there too, the homunculi. Things here finally coming through. Explo or wrecked or exploded both of those with my two exorcists. Extremely lucky there. This squad got really good shooting, bad saves on his part, and killed the whole one witch squad that moved forward. So those are moving forward now to kill him um, to try to stop me from contesting. Over here, shot and charged. Uh, <laughs> it's still down to weapons, um, mobilized. Over here, I shot, I flamed three times, burn all my combi flamers, and killed that whole squad of witches. So I do have that objective fine. Um, and it's really a battle over that one there at this point. Alright, I uh, do apologize about the um, some of the, uh, what's it called, the the speed, the kind of just how quickly I had to go through these videos here, so you didn't really get to see exactly what's going on. But um, it was a tournament, so it's kind of figured I was lucky they let me record it all. Um, basically, it started off by seize the initiative, as you saw. Um, I was up against an all raider, uh, raider ravager list, which was kind of nasty. All witches and homunculi and incubi, uh, two ravagers with lances and one with all disintegrators. Um, so yeah, it was pretty much rough right off the bat because I mean. The Sisters of Battle, they're a great tar pit unit, but tar pit army, but they're not really good at killing things. Especially now with four plus invulnerable saves in combat. So, um, uh, seeing the initiative definitely helped. Um, from there, I basically just um, stayed back, tried to shoot him as much as possible. I did. Um, he said he made a lot of saves for turn one, which kind of screwed me because I seized and then I didn't kill anything. Um, uh, turn two though I did I think I downed two vehicles there he had flown uh, with a few of his one of its two of his units like all the way up as far as it could go right in front of me so there's no getting away from that um, I was lucky in that I managed to surround that incubi um, the incubi rabbit or raider and I mobilized it so they couldn't actually disembark it took me like two or three turns of um, him trying to pull me off of it me jumping back around it and that kind of stuff for me to finally get back around it and wreck it so all the guys died. Um, so that was kind of a weird babysitting kind of thing I had to do there. It was kind of obnoxious, but um, it saved me some some witches, that's for sure. And uh, um, I had some good combats there for sure. Um, 
pretty much, I mean, most of the rounds, uh, he charged into me. I actually ended up winning the combat, if not the first round. I eventually, you know, ended up winning it with one squad for the most part. So he'd kind of throw a squad of witches at me, get the assault he wanted. Um, but then, you know, because they're, they're just a battle, they're really versatile with all of their different faith points. And I was running, you know, canonist and a, and a superior with the eviscerators in every squad on foot. Um, he'd kind of hit them where he wanted to, but then just get pushed back and lose uh, the combat, which was really the only thing that kept me going, was that he had to focus on these two ground units the whole time. Um, it was a little bit frustrating when he shot two shots, one in each rhino, and even with cover saves, he one shot, one kill on both of them. That was really obnoxious, but um, I did make one really bad tactical error. I think it might have been in turn four. Um, when he exploded the rhino on the right, I actually started going around through those trees right next to him to the left. I was going to go give back up to, this, to the left-hand side of the board. I thought I really needed it there, and it turns out I was a complete misjudgment. Um, and it kind of cost me a few points, which, which you know, you, you can see how it affects the, the, end, of the end result. But um, I should, if I had gone to straight up towards those two troops he had on the objective, I would have contested it and actually controlled it by the end of the game easily. Um, so that was that was a dumb move. Um, but that's really the only thing I did in that game that I was really kind of uh, disappointed with the way I played. So um, and it did end on turn six. Uh, wasn't quite contesting, and he just decided not to jump off the objective to kill me. Um, so, but I ended up winning by quite a lot on victory points. So it was a minor victory. So. A uh, good game, though, David. That was definitely rough right there through the end. So um, that was round two.